Nyhedsmagasin for mænd. In most parts of the world, shark attacks happen in shallow water, closer to shore. But here in the South Pacific, all the rules change. Teresa Carrad is a marine biologist with over 12 years experience diving with the deadliest animals in the South Pacific. But what is it that makes these waters so deadly? Well, as this region has one of the highest fatality rates of anywhere in the world, 125 unprovoked attacks and 51 of these have proved fatal. The majority of these attacks are happening at a depth of greater than 50 feet. Now, is that because they're divers? Exactly. And divers are only increasing their chances of attack by diving in non-feeding grounds. Directly below us is an amazing bull shark feeding ground. Teresa and I are descending over 50 feet onto this reef, which isn't far from where a diver was killed in an unprovoked attack. With so much life in the water, the bull sharks could be cruising just a few feet away, and we wouldn't know. Teresa, look! All of a sudden, there are bull sharks cruising in from every direction. The sharks are surrounding us, which could be that first sign of territorial aggression. Something that diver may have experienced right before he met his end. This is chaotic down here. I can't see the sharks until they're right up on me. It almost seems like the sharks are using the schooling fish as cover to get in close. If that isn't enough, 60 feet down, there's roughly half the light that there is at the surface. Another reason it's tough to see the sharks coming. Despite the risk, I can see why over 20,000 divers come here every year. And many of them come just to dive with the sharks. 